Back before the state ordered gyms to close, Mike Leonard was a frequent visitor to the Plymouth Lifetime. I go to class twice a week and I work out up here on Saturdays on my own. Exercise is a priority for this 64-year-old from Plymouth, but that hasn't always been the case. As recently as August of 2019, Mike weighed about 275 pounds, and that's when he decided he needed to make a lifestyle change. I've had the ups and downs, and you know, in the past I've always lost the weight, and then figured, well, I can just go back to eating again because I lost the weight now, and then the problem came back again and again and again. So it was, this time uh, I was committed to my health, and committed to feeling better and committed to getting myself in, back into shape and then not going through the same routine I've been through many, many times. To accomplish that goal, he sought the help of lifetime personal trainer, Carrie Anderson. Mike and I not only are client and, and coach, but we're friends at heart. The relationship between a client and coach is an important one, as one of the key steps to losing weight is building a foundation of healthy habits. Over the course of the past year, Carrie helped Mike make those small lifestyle changes. It's not your on and off a trend diet. Diet, um, where you completely fail, you're working on small behaviors and they don't feel so daunting as tasks. So a lot of people that do it the right way don't have as much of a, a hard time going on and off the wagon. However, a lot of people probably don't expect a pandemic to hit during the middle of their weight loss journey. Yet while it was common for people to pack on a few pounds during the initial COVID shutdown, yeah. that wasn't the case with Mike. I got so far into this journey, I had lost about 30 to 35 pounds prior to COVID, and I, there's no way I was gonna let this get sidetracked. It was just, you have to keep the discipline, you got to keep focused. During the months long shutdown, he did just that, with Carrie helping him along the way. And we stayed in contact throughout the whole thing, just virtually over the phone. After starting off at 275, he dropped 75 pounds, 25 of which were lost during the first COVID shutdown. And he did it all through healthy eating, exercise, and discipline, which is something he plans to continue during this current shutdown. We're going to get through this. I'm not going to lose my discipline. I'm going to continue to eat healthy the way I've been eating. I'm going to continue working out at least three days a week, whether it's in my basement or out walking or whatever. I'm, I'm not going to lose this. In Plymouth, Delaying Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.